All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Little Steakhouse for today's lunch with Monty Coleman. At this time, we ask the players to introduce themselves to the audience. Name, hometown, and position. Mr. Uh, Hawthorne? My name is Wesley Hawthorne. I'm from Arlington, Texas. I play wide receiver, and I'm number 80. Marcus Berry from Alexandria, Louisiana. I play defensive end, number 54. All right, at this time, we ask the players to give opening comments about last week's win over Concordia College and talk a little bit about playing Alabama State in two weeks. Mr. Hawthorne? Uh, I feel like it was a much needed win. We needed that win to uh, rally back from the last game, the previous game. And uh, I mean, I think, I think that we've improved a lot. I, I know we still need to do some things to improve even further than, further than that, but, uh, but it was a much needed win. And uh, we're excited to play our next game. We have a bye week coming up, and we're just going to use that week to get even better. All right, Mr. Barry. A uh, real good win last week. Um, look forward to going to the SWAC play, and uh, we're just going to train and work hard, make sure we, we're ready. All right, at this time, the man of great power, Mr. Monty Coleman. <laughs> great power, thank you. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody once again to our, our press conference for the week. Uh, just uh, reflecting back on our game against Concordia this past weekend. Uh, as both players have, have stated, it was definitely a must-win game for us. We, we had to play well. We wanted to uh, come out and show our fans our first home opener that we've got what it takes. Uh, bouncing back from uh, the defeat against Texas College. And the guys actually came out and played very well. Uh, there's still some things that we've got to shore up uh, from this game, but overall, it was a great effort. Uh, we had a, a, a lot of great plays by the defense, a lot of great plays by the offense as they put up 31 points. And the thing that I was most pleased with was our special teams. Uh, we've got a block punt early in the game. Uh, uh, Mitchell, Andre Mitchell had a, a great kick, uh, excuse me, punt return. And um, you know the offense moved the ball all, all evening long. Um, the thing that we've got to do is we've got to eliminate our penalties. That's one of the things that's been an Achilles heel for us the last few years. And uh, we're practicing it. We have officials come out. But we've got to find a way to eliminate penalties. In the last two games we've had, uh, we have recorded 18 penalties, which is way, way too many uh, for us to win against great football teams like Alabama State and other teams in the SWAC. So we will be having a conscious effort as we practice uh, in preparation for our next opponent to eliminate as many penalties as possible, especially the personal foul ones. We had five of those in the game. Some, I won't say questionable, uh, but um, some you can kind of get away with because of the aggressiveness. But overall, we've got to eliminate penalties. Uh, very pleased with the win. It was a big win for us. Uh, got us back on track. And uh, we will be traveling down to Alabama State uh, on Thursday of next week uh, to uh, uh, have their second um, swag game. All right, at this time, we open up for Q&A. We ask that you raise your hand and be recognized. And so we can hand you the mic. Mr. Morrell. DeMarcus, uh, how difficult is it to pitch a shutout against any team? Uh, not difficult. I mean, it's, it's it, it really depends on, on the team, you know. I mean, however uh -huh. you uh, practice and come out, come out like really with your mind. Your mind is really your mindset. Your mindset of the game, right? And how you prepare for the game really depends on the outcome of the game, right? And and certainly, uh, from what I'm hearing, that's been uh, the mindset. You know, shutout was the mindset after right. getting shut out. But that, you know, that's why I said that cannot be an easy thing uh, to accomplish. To go from 65 nothing loss to 31 nothing win. Uh, really, it's just how we prepared that week in practice. I mean, right. coach stressed, the coaches stressed to us that we we needed this victory. So throughout the, the week in practice, we just practiced hard and just made sure everything was. How it needed to be. All right. I see. Can I can I comment on that? Yeah, most question? definitely. Most definitely. It, it, it's very difficult to. Uh, it doesn't matter what division. 
Uh, if you go back and just re uh, remember or recap some of the plays, they were actually in the red zone a couple of times uh, because of penalties on their part. It moved them back out of the red zone. Uh, there were a couple of times we, we got sacked. Barry and the defensive line got sacks and moved them out of it. Uh, but they they had opportunities or could have had opportunities to uh, score. Mm -hmm. So, but it's it's very hard. You can wish and you can hope, uh, right. because there's been several games in in past years that we wanted to to shoot a, a shutout. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it, that's a hard hard thing to do. So we were very fortunate to uh, be able right. to get that shutout. Right. Uh, and <clears throat> now Alabama State they're going to play a conference game against Valley uh, before you guys play them. Uh, are you going to send anybody to scout that game? And for <laughs> during this 12-day cushion, what um, you know? Because I keep asking the question, uh, what do you guys have to do to be conference ready? You told me you guys be conference ready by game day, but what is it exactly you guys have to do be, to be ready for conference? Especially knowing that Alabama State will already have a game under its belt, and then they'll be hosting the game on uh, national television. We, we, we cannot send anybody, any coaches, down okay. to uh, scout that game. That, that would be a violation. Okay. So we will not make any violations. Okay. Uh, but as far as us being conference ready, we've, we've got this week, we've got next week, which will be our normal week to prepare for Alabama State. Yeah. And to be conference ready, that's what it's going to take, is us being pre – our preparation for this particular ball game. We've got all the days that we need up front to prepare, to be conference ready. Uh, they will have one conference game, as you alluded to. Uh, they will play Valley this weekend. Uh, that would be our first SWAT game against them on Thursday. So they will have a slight advantage, but uh, we'll, we'll prepare for them starting today, uh, getting ready for our game against them on Thursday. Yeah, and one last question, what's your practice schedule going to be like uh, until uh, game day. We'll, we'll, we'll practice today. We'll practice uh, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to give them off on Friday and Saturday, and then we'll come back on Sunday, and we'll start our preparation. Sunday for us will be a Tuesday. Okay. So all I'm doing is changing the day. Sunday will be Tuesday. Gotcha. Monday will be a Wednesday. Thursday, excuse me, uh, Tuesday will be a Thursday, and we'll travel on uh, on Wednesday uh, to go down and play them on, on Thursday. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Stubbs. Tim Stubbs, UAPB TV, 89.7 KUAP Sports. Uh, Coach, defense, obviously, uh, pitching a shutout. I mean, I'm sure that felt really good. Absolutely. And holding them to 50 yards rushing and I believe around 70 yards passing, just eight first downs. So the defense, uh, especially with no game film on this team coming in, you talked about some of those challenges. Uh, I thought they did an outstanding job of uh, defending the option and they had a, a three quarterback look uh, mm -hmm. they kept rotating quarterbacks in and out and um, the last quarterback Pierce was more the thrower so to speak so uh, talk about that a little bit um, and then offensively um, still looking for a little continuity new offensive coordinator coming over um, talk about that a little bit as you did score 31 points but still <coughs> looking for some I know you're looking for more consistency uh, just four of 11 on third downs and things like that I know you'd like to sustain some longer drives and, and put more points up, but just kind of talk about that a little bit. You know, overall, I, I thought the team played well enough to win. There are some inconsistencies that we've got to overcome. Uh, the, the third down efficiency on the offensive side of the ball. Excuse me, I spoke with Coach Jones and the offensive staff yesterday in our staff meeting, uh, expressing my concern with that, making sure that we do better in third downs because that keeps us on the field. Very pleased on the defensive side of the ball. They were 0 for 10 uh, on, on third down efficiency. Uh, the defense played well. I thought Mr. Barry came to play. He started off uh, with a big play um, for the defense, and then the, the defense kind of ignited uh, from that. Uh, the thing that we've got to do, Tim, we, we, we've got to play a lot more consistent uh, over a 60-minute period. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, uh, we had opportunities to take the ball away. Uh, we didn't take it away. That would also help our offense. If we get those interceptions or get those fumbles, it will give our offense either short field or give them the ball back um, with an opportunity to go and score. 
and it, it's going to take a little longer. Uh, you got to understand, Ben's been under three uh, uh, different coordinators. He was under Jerry Mack, he was under Coach Dooley, and now under Coach Jones. So I can only imagine what he's thinking in his mind. But you know, the consistency, I think, is going to come. Uh, we had a couple of guys that ran the ball extremely well for us. McGrone did, uh, Hanley did. Uh, and Brunson got in and ran the ball. Mike, Mike Wilson also ran, got a, a very strong touchdown, I think, in the third quarter. Uh, so we're, we're working our way to, to game shape. Uh, and uh, I think they're playing pretty good. Uh, we, we've got a lot of improvements to make. We've got a long ways to go and a lot of season left. But we're taking it one game at a time and trying to improve each week in practice so that we, when we step on the field on Saturdays or on Thursdays, uh, we'll be able to uh, perform up to our uh, abilities. Traditionally, uh, or recent history, UAPB has been a little slow out of the gate, uh, so to speak, the first couple of games. Even in the 2012 championship season, squeaked by a lane, then lost the conference opener, then right. reeled off about eight in a row. So with the bye week coming up, uh, what are you looking for as, as far as progression? you got a couple of games under your belt, and it always seems like the last few years, about that third game, UAPB starts to, to gel a little bit after all the off-season practices, get a couple of games in, new personnel. Uh, talk about that a little bit with this being an early bye week. Uh, I know you have another one coming up, I believe, next month, but talk about that a little bit and maybe some of the things you're looking for for the team to kind of take that next step in which they've done so in the past four or five seasons. And, and, and that's what we're looking to do is make that, take that next step. Uh, definitely concentrate over this bye week on our penalties. You know, I knock on wood uh, that we don't have any major injuries as of now, that uh, most of the guys are in good shape. Uh, we've got some bumps and bruises, but there's no person that we're waiting on or, or this, this, this bye week is going to really benefit because of an injury. Uh, so that's a good thing. So we're just going to take our time, go back and analyze ourselves even after two games to see where we are, to see the things that we need to work on. If one of the things we've got to work on, we've got to work on the penalties like I said just a minute ago. Uh, we've got to sure up our run def offense. Uh, we've got to play a little better pass defense. Uh, I, I suspect our Alabama State coming out trying to throw the football against us. Uh, they've got a, a very explosive running back, but I think they're going to look to pass first and then run. So we've got to make sure this week that we, we're toning up every aspect of our pass defense and uh, also working on our run, run offense to uh, be able to, to uh, run, run the clock. All right. Are there any more questions at this time? All right, we thank you for coming out. Let's give Mr. Tony Dow a round of applause for letting us come and use his, his establishment for today's press conference. All right, we thank you once again. Uh, coaching and players are available for one-on-ones.